All right, we are starting our day two, um, getting ready, taking our time. I think my aunt is probably starting to reach out to us. Um, we're meeting her here. Nope, not that wasn't it. But I wanted to show you, I'm gonna come over with lots of light. Um, it is super dry here, so I am not wearing makeup on my skin. It will literally crackle, but Whatever. it will. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun on. She acts like we live in the Sahabi Desert. My skin acts like it. I don't act no. like it. I'm hot. Right. I'm hot and sweaty right now. But my skin is a different story. But also my hair. <laughs> Can you see this? It is literally staticky. It is standing straight up. I mean, Aaron, you admit the hair. Yes, I admit the hair. Yes. But it is kind of like electrically charged out there too. Like it is. About to rain. There's like a storm There's brewing. There's like a storm brewing. Yeah, but I've just never had to have my hair do that before. We were <laughs> at the restaurant last night and got out of the car and like my hair kind of blew because it was windy and then went inside and everyone, and Aaron was like, uh, it's standing straight up. <laughs> Doobie, you want to say hi? Doobie. Nope. There's nothing in there for you. There's no treats. Um, so like I said, we're gonna meet with my aunt, maybe go to lunch, because we haven't even had breakfast yet. Yeah, it's 11. By the time we meet with her, we'll be perfect yeah, we timing. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to eat now. So, uh, we're just finishing, but, but we're packing up again. <laughs> like, Erin is packing up her suitcase. I am repacking mine. Um, I got my makeup bag, but I'm gonna put on some of this nice smelling lotion really quick and then we aren't going to pack up her car yet we'll go do our thing here in town and then come back home and get all our stuff we're not going to drive north until tonight right Aaron? yeah so also i've got to hydrate while i'm here i mean i hydrate at home but i'm just like it's just different when you're like sitting at your desk you have your water whatever forks i know Oh. And we're this, you know, in honor of me. Honor of the Washington tonight. They keep sniffing all my stuff. Do well, we? It, just, it just smells different. It's just different. Yeah. It just smells different. And he knows with the suitcase that she's going somewhere. Yeah, she's being super needy right now because he knows I'm He's leaving. Being clean, being clingy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna finish getting ready. Check out the sunshine, man. I brought sandals just for church. Can you see my sandals? I brought them just for church because I just didn't want to pack my high heels like my anyway they're just higher heels I just don't want to pack them but look this sun this is perfect my sister's moving your car out of the garage oh, I can't get in on that side of the car all right can you tell where we're at we just spent hours hang on we'll do the car wash for you and then we'll be right back you tossed me like a stone You swept me off my feet I can't feel my bones I still count the days You swept me off my feet I keep going high, she keeps going low Something feels wrong right now, I know Something feels wrong all right, now that we have her car clean, <laughs> we went and met my aunt, picked her up, and went and ate lunch at Red Robin. Um, had a great time talking. Got some side eyes from the waiters who wanted us to leave. We're like, literally, we're there's only like two other couples here. It's not like we're taking a table from anyone. But we just have a good time talking to her. Like everyone gets their time to tell a story, and then. It's like this natural, like, yeah. you know, we just keep going around in circles and it's just fun to talk to her. Um, so now we're gonna go back to her place and grab our bags. We've already packed everything up. We're gonna grab our bags. I thought we would maybe go back to her house that, and she lives like a half hour away, but she has to go to Costco. She does things when she's here in town and she had to pick up her husband's suit, my uncle's suit and go to Costco and she can't kind of dilly dally once she's gone to Costco she needs to get the food home but we didn't want to wait for her to go to Costco so we're gonna head home um, and then get our bags and we'll hit the road and not actually be driving late at night like I thought we were going to which is kind of nice it'll be nice yeah and uh, I have my 
airport snacks still. I didn't use my, my nice. M&M's nice. or all my Pringles. So, so I've got sharing. some car, car snacks. No, I'm not sharing. <laughs> <laughs> for me, you can have some. Pringles. You're really gonna tell the world that you're not gonna share it with your twin sister. Yeah, I am. We we need to stop for a beverage and to fill up our we'll, we'll fill up our water at your house. Okay. And then we'll get a drink from a gas station or something. And then we'll head to my dad's house and we'll have time to start kind of looking through and I can look through my own stuff and take some time. So that there's a really noisy car behind us. Yes, there is. Um, I'm going to go through my stuff, so I'll share some of that with you tonight. Um, and then my dad's next door neighbor wants me to stop by and say hi. And that could be hours worth of talking to. I was going to <laughs> say, dang, am I ever going to see you again? No. I'll be on her porch. Um, so, I think that's one of the, not just the house itself, but I think the other side of it is the neighbors. Yeah, they're great. Like, they're all such good neighbors. They, like, hang out in the evenings outside yeah. during the summertime and take care of each other and snow blow each other's driveways. Yeah, it's like a competition to who can get the snow blowing get, you know, yeah. done first. Yeah, like my dad and, and the other cold. two men um, have a competition to who can snow, snow plow Kathy's driveway first. <laughs> and she's like the, you know, the one single. Yeah, yeah, single lady in the neighborhood. Anyway, so I'm going to go and hang out with her. I'm going to text her and tell, tell her when we're heading north. We're like an hour and a half from being up there. You don't wait for me. I won't wait for you Cause you keep telling lies I keep going high She keep going low At the end of the day She's gone low You don't wait for me Cause I keep breathing fire And you keep telling lies You play me like a game Alright, just got to my dad's house this is our twin room. You've seen those maybe before. There's two more over there. We called this one the twin room because me and my twin sister had twin beds there. They designed it for us twins. So there was a twin bed there and it lined the window. So um, I also found, we've only been here for a few minutes, but we're already like trying to make sure we go through stuff. And I found my wedding dress. I believe this one's mine. I'm almost positive. If there's another one downstairs, then it's me and my youngest sister. Well, it could be one of my two sisters. But I don't I don't know if my one sister wants hers from her first marriage. <laughs> so maybe she does. But um, maybe her daughter will. But I'm pretty sure this one's mine. I'm going to go look at my wedding photos downstairs and double check. But... I'll go show you what we've, well, if you look at these right there, they were made after the fact. Where's those one blankets? They were made to match these. Um, so mine was pink and Erin's was green. She's taking her blanket, but I'm not gonna take mine. This is a very yellow room, yellow lighting. Yeah, we're just. But this is all linens from their linen closet. Um, I don't, this is free for the taking, but I don't think, I think it'll be donated. I think a lot of that will be It's 30 it. years old. My dad's right there. Um, what else do we have? Do you know whose wedding dress this is? Is this one mom's? Dad thinks it's Katie's, but I There's have no, no idea. Or it might Katie be Katie didn't do lace. Oh, oh. Maybe it is mom's. It's all lace. I don't know, and I don't know. This is my that might dress. be mom's from a wedding. A wedding. Jared's? Jared's, Jeff's, Jeff's, Jeff's. I think that was no. Jeff's. Jeff's ours were weird for Jeff's. Ours were matching green ones with a weird collar. No. We looked like little pilgrim girls. Yes, that was Katie and Andy that had the real weird. Pilgrim. Oh, was it then? Yes, we had oh. these. I don't think so. We were in red. Anyway, I'm pretty sure. So there's not much left in closets. This is. Do you know the story on the? Covered the little wagon thing. Is that from um, Grandpa? No, Dad made that. Oh, he made that. Yeah. Um. Or no? Or did Grandpa make that? I thought Grandpa did. Maybe Grandpa made that. So my dad's dad. Yeah. So, anyway, we have a little bit of time to kill. We're trying to get our family to come play games. Um, but they're all 
probably still getting off work, getting kids fed. My sister and her husband are here in town, but they're going to dinner with their friends. So they might drop by on their way home from that. Is there a garbage can in here? So anyway, we're kind of just glancing around at stuff that's non-sentimental or stuff that we know is our own stuff. Like this is not sentimental. Like we can designate this as like, take what you want from here, otherwise we're donating. Yeah. And same with like blankets. There's like zero sentimental value <laughs> in things yeah. like that. Yeah. Like none, even like this kind of stuff. This is a cheap dollar photo. This is a cheap plate. Like none of this is like of any value. Neither is the lamp. So kind of just want to show you a few of the things that we're going to be going over tomorrow while well, no one's here. Um, this is my, is this great grandma's hutch or just grandma's, Erin? The what? The hutch. So it's my grandma's, my mom's mom. I think it's her hutch, but a lot of this stuff came from her. A lot of these pieces came from her. Um, this is something I might want. This is what she would do for Christmas Eve. She put her fudge on that. So part of what we're doing is, I got her that. This is from Germany. And then my brother got these Yadros from Spain. And that's the angel they used at her funeral. But we're having my aunt kind of tell us the story, if, if any, of the china and the pieces. It, that one's kind of locked up. There's also some tableware underneath in the cupboards down here. So this is what we're doing with my sisters and my aunt is kind of going through this stuff. Like this is the kind of stuff that people are just putting on their lists. Like if they want the books, if they want the games, the puzzles, the blocks, this is filled with just games that are probably not, they're just not all the pieces are not all there. A lot of these might be just garbage, but, um, but the kids all love these blocks. So maybe you, someone would want the blocks, but everyone has a Google doc list. They can sign up to want these kinds of things. But when it came to like the maternal stuff from my grandma, my great grandma, it's the girls first. So that's why we're kind of meeting this weekend. And then beyond this stuff and Aaron has the quilts in here. I'll show you. Then everyone is putting things onto this list. And then my aunt will deem as appropriately who will get what. And then that's just at a later date. But we're gathering up quilts here. These are the table runners. Table runner type things. So she, my mom made all these. She made those. She made all these quilts. These are more sentimental blankets. Not necessarily made yeah. by mom, but sentimental. Yeah. This was actually one we made for a family reunion. That one there. For my, my, my grandma. It's got all of our feet print for her this mom. was the faith in every footprint for grandma for grandma hatch remember when we made oh, this for grandma so grandma dad's hatch? mom so we made that for dad dad's mom yeah yeah so that's all the grandkids feet and, and i then, didn't realize this is unfinished this is all the grandkids hands at one point at one point is that an unpieced quilt it's then un it's an unfinished quilt so this is a pile of unfinished quilts oh wow yeah I don't know if I was they're able to get just that. Fit, they're all just the tops. Just the tops. So they're done. She had dreams of being able to hand stitch each one of them, yeah. but then her arthritis and her carpal tunnel kicked in. So those are... So then she was. it was a weight of money to be able to send them out to get quilted. Yeah. Which that costs was a really, lot yeah, per quilt. Really and then this is just... Is it? This isn't the only fabric. That is the rest of... One of the quilts. It's got to be... I'm not even pointing to stuff. Sorry, guys. Anyway, well, see, this is obviously one she started. Right, it's the whole quilt. And so piece. here's the pieces that haven't been finished to finish that quilt. So, so. we're kind of just That's we're just idea. kind of starting the process. We're kind of getting things ready to go. Um, if these are her, uh, this is her quilting rack. Both of those are right. Both of those um, are So, some sentimental value and some not. <laughs> so. We're really trying to focus on the stuff that has meaning for my mom and her side, like her grandma, her mother. It's mainly what we're doing this weekend. So this is just part of the process. So we have bad lighting, but Erin and I like opened this one up. We're like, oh, I like. 
that one Why and we both said it at that the same too. time. But I don't want hurt feelings. And we can also share things like this. Yeah. Like if I'm coming to visit Trade it. and I can say, hey, can I have it this year? Yeah. You know, can I put this out for the spring and summer this year and I'll give it back to you next year. That might be kind of fun too. That might be kind of fun, yeah. It can be like the, it can be our little white like elephant. Swapping. Yeah, there you go, the swapping of quilts. Yeah, we can like leave them in fun places around each other's houses. That, that can be, fun. and then these are wall hangings mm -hmm. yep. that she made. I already have a lot of yep. wall hangings, so. All right, should we admit on camera we've already cried? <laughs> Today? She's cried a lot more than I've cried. <laughs> Well, it's only because my aunt called. First? We left the creamy on the counter and my dad's mm. ice cream. Aaron dished my dad up some ice cream. And he's oh, still recovering from Somebody said they, they broke But then, it up to I him. know, but then they were all talking. And then I got excited. So, um, it's 9.30 already. You can't see the time. 9.30. And uh, we, <laughs> we haven't had dinner. Um, we did eat lunch somewhat late, maybe. But I'm starving. So we're gonna go get some food. But we have been kind of going through the, not ugly dynamics, but it is, you have to make sure you do this kind of process with loved one's stuff in the right way so that feelings Dana. aren't hurt. Dana. What? Are you being secretive or you want me no, to show? I just didn't ever Well, I... if we shall, this is all for her. This is all her stuff. And a lot of the stuff in the china cabinet is this is my grandma, so a lot of it is hers and my and her her mom's, and then that's my grandpa. That's her my mom's dad. So a lot of this is because it's come from them. Oh, I'm like, are we talking about the Tupperware? <laughs> Why are you being silent about no, these? I just I oh. didn't realize they were right here. Yeah, I think Dad brought them down. Oh, okay. Yeah. So really quick. Um, just because um, we've already cried tonight. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let's move the Tupperware aside because the Tupperware <laughs> are ruining the aesthetic. Yes, they We're are. talking about the Tupperware. This is what happens when people come to visit and they have family dinners here and then they don't take their Tupperware home or they bring, bring grandpa or dinner. Or they bring grandpa dinner. That's what this is all, is they yeah. bring him dinner. Let's shove all this aside and then we're gonna tell you the story about these. Okay, so obviously this is my twin sister. Yeah, hi. Right? So we have these two, what is this called? This stitchery I don't know. called. It's got, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called. It's not cross stitch. It's like. But my mom, we grew up with my mom testing kits for yep. Joanne's she, she, or different yeah. companies. She was, yeah, hired by companies. So she would get the kit and she would test and count every single stitch and if it matched the kit. And if there was enough string of every color, she would right. document everything she yeah. did along the way. So she, oh, I wasn't showing your face. Sorry. So she, this is her version of doing ultrasound scans to earn money on the side. Yeah, basically. Um, so she stitched these, and I don't know if these came from a kit that she was paid for. I don't know. But they are both, they were both done when my mom was pregnant with Aaron and I. And she was on bed rest for two months when she was pregnant with us. And then she had us two months early. Yep. So. Um, one month early. One month early. Yeah. Um, so there, my dad has already said that these are ours. They were in our bedroom growing up, like yeah. from day one. Well, one of them was down here. One of them has been down here no. on the main floor. Oh, this one I think was on the main floor. Yeah. This one was in our bedroom. So, um, these are ours. I won't be able to take them home. I think I mentioned this before. I won't be able to take them home, but now we decide on who is who. And what's funny is that there's like these girls in this photo mm -hmm, right mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. It always drove me crazy that there's oh, the one eye. That was my one memory of this one is that she's missing an eye. It always drove me crazy because this and is me. And mom tried to tell me. This is mom this tried one was me. Yeah. Mom and tried. Either and this the, one or and you. This one is me. Yeah. Because the curly hair. Um, mom tried to tell me that she's winking at you. And I was like, uh -uh. no, please. She just. She up. just <laughs> <laughs> and then framed yeah. it and then didn't have an eye on it. Yeah. So. Um, Erin and I will decide off camera which one is whose and she's gonna hold it for me until yeah. I can come back with the car and take it home but we do have like fond memories as long as I know she yeah. has it then I can still see it again yeah that's really more important yeah um yeah there's one more like this 
that is a sailboat that my dad had in his practice. Yeah. Um, he was a pediatrician. And he had it in his practice. And it's probably why I don't even have a memory of it because it was in his office. It was office. in his office. In fact, it was in his office within the Right, like in his office. actual office. His actual office. Which yeah. I only went in a few times. Yeah. Like, we didn't hang that out That was in the there. boring room. Yeah. Right. I like to be out with in the toys. Patient the patients. Patients' rooms. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I didn't know that that one even existed until I saw it in his office yeah. upstairs. And I was like, oh, that was one of them. Yeah. So, she did do that one when she was pregnant with us as well. Yeah. So, yeah, because remember, she knew they they had, they were coming, they were moving here to open that practice. Oh, okay. So she knew that she needed to... Put something in it. She, yeah, she wanted okay. to put well, something in his office. Yeah. So these are the stories that we want to make sure we document and have. Um, so we'll decide who gets what. I like both of them. Fight is on. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go get dinner. And if it gets any more fun than that, then I'll bring you along. But it's already almost 10, so we better get going. Yeah.